Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at a bronzer, a new bronzer from Hourglass Cosmetics. Just in time for the whole spring summer 2015 season, we have the Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And this is a product that comes in actually two colors. It has uh, one that is luminous bronze light and then another which is radiant bronze light. The concept behind these is it is a combination of the brand's very popular ambient lighting powder highlighters that come in a wide range of shades shades, varying levels and undertones, uh, levels of shimmer and undertones of color. It seems like they've taken two of their most popular uh, ambient lighting powders. We have the ambient uh, luminous light and then also the ambient um, radiant, which is a, a bit more of a shimmery gold tone, whereas the luminous, the luminous here, the Luminous is more of a champagne color, and that's actually here we have the Luminous bronzing uh, powder, and this is the combination of the infusion of bronze tones along with that Luminous highlighting powder. So the result is a bit of a kind of multi-dimensional bronzer that adds a bit of a luminosity to skin without adding overly or rather obvious shimmer. And that's actually something that's important to point out because when you look at the actual product itself, the amount of shimmer that appears to be in the product is intense. You look at it and you're like, oh my god, this is like just a straight up highlighter, you know, that will absolutely not be appropriate for daytime. Not the case. I'll actually uh, show you uh, why that is the case here in just a moment. Now, with the colors, the two shades, Luminous Bronze and Radiant Bronze, the important word there, or operative word, is bronze. Now, it's not just a marketing term. Bronze is actually the dominant color in both shades. So these are really just two, literally two variations of that color bronze. Luminous is a bit lighter, and then Radiant Bronze is a bit deeper in tone. Bronze is inherently a naturally warm color. It's going to have a blend of brown tones and coppery tones tones and some gold as well, all of which have, of course, that warmer undertone. So I'm actually going to show you really quick how this actually looks going on skin, you know, really kind of that first, you know, that first glance, whether it pulls overly warm on skin, you'll be able to kind of see how it looks because I'm just going to put it on really quick for you. So, do 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 Okay, of course, with bronzers, no one really bronzes in a, or tans rather, in a perfectly uniform fashion. So you don't want to be, you know, too uh, concerned with exactly getting it, you know, just right in terms of the application. So I just kind of swirl this all around. And just making sure to kind of hit like the temple areas, the bridge of the nose, the upper cheekbones, and then the chin. This reflects, you know, where you would naturally tan with the sun hitting you. And of course, don't forget the tops of the ears and just right along the jawline. Now, you can see that with the luminous shade, it does add a bit of, you know, a bit of color, of course, and warmth, but it's still pretty natural looking. You know, it's not uh, overly warm on my particular skin tone because, you know, warmer tones, of course, would work well for me. And this is also going to be the case for those who have more light to medium skin tones and then, of course, deeper. Although with a luminous uh, bronze light, deeper skin tones will find that at most it's going to work more like a very subtle highlighter. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. And then I like to apply a little bit of uh, powder foundation or powder on top of this just to kind of help blend everything here with a, a little bit of the Smashbox, the new Photo Finish Powder Foundation, which review coming, but spoiler alert, it's pretty nice. Now, with bronzers, you, uh, of course, can add a bit of a contour effect, you know, to skin because it does, you know, give you that nice kind of illuminated, um, you know, finish and it naturally enhances your cheekbones, you know, and other areas of your face. The key is a natural enhancement. You don't want to use a bronzer, especially not one like this that has obvious warm tones in as a contour if you're going for that very structured, you know, contour technique along the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, those sorts of things. Because not only will that subtle highlight fight against the contour effect when you're trying to create a shadow to recede and create, you know, that kind of definition, and then also with the warm tones of a bronzer like this, an actual bronze bronzer, the highlight, or rather the, sorry, the contour uh, effect is also, it's not going to look as natural as it would if you were just using kind of a neutral or a more neutral flat brown or taupe color depending on your skin tone. 
Now, is it worth it? That's the question. It is certainly pricey, $50 for you know, this compact. It's actually the same, uh, same size, or rather same compact size as the ambient lighting powders, but you do get more product here. So uh, in terms of the actual cost, 50 bucks, that's a pretty penny to shell out for a bronzer, especially if you're not someone who wears bronzer that often. If that's you, if you're just really kind of a bronzer newbie, I'd say mm, this probably you know, isn't a great splurge product for you. There's a lot of great bronzers out there that are easier to control and easier to work with. But for those people who've been using bronzers for some time, they love them, they already love Hourglass, and they love the ambient lighting powder, this is an excellent bronzer to look to, and it's really a nice item if you're going to splurge on something. At $50, technically because this is such a well-pigmented formula, it is going to last you quite some time. You know, it certainly is not going to be anything that you're going to hit pan on in the next month or two. You'll have it definitely through the summer, probably through most of the winter too. So that's something to consider. It is fragrance free and because all of those qualities that I mentioned, the fact that it does have rather beautiful color, you know, if you have the skin tone to match, it does add a nice luminosity to skin without visible shimmer. And because also that it will last you quite some time, it did earn a best in Beautypedia. Now, if you've tried it and you loved it, or if you tried it and you hated it and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, leave your uh, feedback below. I'd love to hear some you know, comments from you on what you think of this particular product. And of course, if you want to read more about this particular product, you can check out my review on Beautypedia also in the About section below. Thanks for watching.